Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here at 4. I'm Kevin Nathan. Amber Diaz has the afternoon off. We start with a development to a story we told you about last week where two UConn students allegedly implied they had a gun at a dining hall. Now, UConn says both students were arrested yesterday saying they were recreating a viral TikTok video. NBC Connecticut's Melissa Cooney joins us live in stores with student reaction and more. Melissa? That's right, Kevin. Police say the students were arrested on charges of conspiracy to commit a threatening act and a breach of peace. We spoke with other students here on campus say that this was concerning to experience and to hear about. Disruption in a busy Yukon dining hall. I heard that friends were in there and it was scary for them to know that that could happen. Even though it was fake, it's still nerve wracking. This is insane. It's not really funny. Police say Nathaniel Gez and Tan Bao allegedly recorded themselves yelling commands in the dining hall and implying they had a firearm. The situation caused a stir, many taking to social media to share their concerns. Police say the two were reenacting a viral video. Some students say they have no idea what they were recreating. I haven't heard of any trends like that. Others have seen the supposed original video, but still find the situation concerning. I think it was a little misunderstood, um, but again, I don't, I'm not condoning the behavior or anything. I think doing that in a crowded dining hall with hundreds of students eating is pretty much a pretty bad idea. We live in a time of zero tolerance for any kind of uh, violence in schools or on campuses. So, um, unfortunately, they don't stop to think about these things. William Carbone is the director of the University of New Haven's Youth Justice Institute. He says people recreating videos and faux threats are becoming increasingly more common due to social media. He says this is a good time for parents to talk with their young adults about differentiating what they think is funny and the consequences that could come from what they say is a misunderstanding. It doesn't mean that they should be uh, marked for the rest of their life, but at the same time, it has to be taken seriously because you never know when they really have some kind of a weapon. And UConn says they can't share if disciplinary action are being taken against the students, but they do say, generally speaking, when students do something to violate the safety of other students, they could be subject to something like expulsion. Now the two are back in court next week. Live in stores, Melissa Cooney, NBC Connecticut News. Kevin. Melissa, thank you.